But Texas has owned the net. They are out blocking Nebraska 10-2. And as you just saw, Eckerman already has a double-double. They had a back row attack whistled against Texas Point, Nebraska. Derek Elliott arguing against that whistle. And we will continue the back slide from the cage. Return to sender. Here's Haley Eckerman. And the two-time Big 12 Player of the Year delivers. Tied at one. That's one of the things they've been doing best tonight is using that block. Actually not being afraid of it, but hitting it off, hitting off those high hands in a place where no defender can play for Nebraska. There's the Texas block again. Point Longhorns, this time Abadu, the freshman, getting involved. Block number 11 in Texas. Smart to have at least two players involved in that block. They have to keep an eye on Kelsey Robinson. She's the one bright spot in the Nebraska offense right now. Paul Miller goes behind her head. Point Nebraska. Yeah, nice change up for her. Normally when you use your left hand as a setter, you're going to drop that in the middle of the court, but instead she directs it short into what we call zone four in volleyball. Bad pass for Texas, and they are unable to rebound from that point, Huskers. Well, I don't get that. We saw that three or four times last night. I don't know why you're setting Amy Neal the ball when you have <laughs> people like a lot of Abagu others. Yeah. and others. Put it up high. Put it to a front row player who can take a swing. Like that one. Yeah, that'll work all right. Abagu. You got Abagu, you got Bell. They just contact the ball at such a high point. It's stressing the Nebraska block. Bagu six kills on 12 attempts. She had 11 kills on 14 swings yesterday. Nebraska gets one back. Katie Rolfson back to serve. The freshman and all Big Ten first teamer this year. Coming back from a shoulder injury that slowed her down early in the season. She and her sister Katie both out there together. They're parents, so uh, we're both collegiate athletes, both basketball players. The daughters chose volleyball. It worked out well for them. Yeah, and maybe one of the troubles of having such a great recruiting class is it means you have fewer people on the bench ready to come in if you wanted to make some changes. There are other teams in this tournament who are deeper who can struggle in a position and bring somebody else in to really pick up the energy and the performance of a team. Cecilia Hall gets the kill and then she will check out. Alexa Etheridge on to serve. Freshman from Lee's Summit, Missouri. Well, Eckerman tried to roll it, didn't get it high enough. Robinson tried to roll it. Out to Webster. Point Texas. And Webster didn't get great contact on that. Rolfson was all over it, but it worked to Webster's benefit. No spin means it's going to sail around. And it sailed right off the platform of the Nebraska defender. Former number one recruit in the country coming out of high school. And Kyle crushes one point Nebraska. That's what Coach Cook is bringing her in for. Some more offense. Those other four attackers besides Kelsey Robinson after two sets, barely above zero. Nice serve to get Texas in trouble. Now, Nebraska's created a scoring opportunity. Paul Miller to Robinson. Couldn't work it around the block. Tussle at the net, falls on the Texas side. Out wide to Webster. Huskers keep it up. And pushed deep by the center, Paul Miller. So we saw the short from Paul Miller 
previously. She dropped it short. This time she puts it long. She actually got the Texas leader of Cheryl Palmer looking for that short ball playing in zone four. Both of those coming in this set. In the cage. Robinson into the front row to try and save it. Now it's Hannah Allison. Had 54 assists, 12 digs in the region semi last night. Kyle again providing a spark. Yeah, we saw a lot of that from the University of San Diego and Chloe, <laughs> Chloe Ferrari last night, rocketing the ball cross court off one foot. That's the kind of offense Nebraska needs to spread out the block. Already 10, 11 stuff blocks for Texas. A little too tight for Webster. Robinson tried to surprise him. Eckerman can't send it deep enough. Robinson finds the corner. And if you're Texas, you got that dreaded intermission. Yeah. <laughs> you don't want to come out. That's the last thing Elliot, Coach Elliott wanted was to have his team cool off at any point. He'd love to just keep playing that match. Some defense from the Huskers. Allison sets a bogger in the middle. Point for Texas. Abagu now with seven kills. And again, she's contacting that ball at a high enough point where there's very little risk of her getting stuff blocked. If it does get blocked, it's com coming back high. It's a really high percentage play for Texas because at worst, they get the ball back for another shot. We go back to Kyle, and she's got it. Some hesitation in the back row. Yeah, and Jared Elliott jumping off the Texas bench. Exactly, and you could see the Texas players after that play talking to each other, trying to clarify their responsibilities and eliminate that confusion. Lawson, long point, Texas. Cat Bell returns to the front for Texas. Sarah Palmer serving. Folks it towards Amber Rolfson. This is Katie. Misfired point Longhorns. The Rolfson twins, 14 kills, but nine hitting errors. They've also combined for 15 digs tonight. Robinson. The Bobby trying to make something there. Palmer pops it up. Abagu again rejected. Outside, Eckerman. Dug by Robinson. Rolfson, bit too far off the net. Bump to Eckerman. Juan Arantes is there. Rolfson with another opportunity, can't put it away. Cat Bell does. Lots of weapons for Texas that they can spread you out with. I like the changeup and going to Bell behind, giving a different look to that Nebraska block. Backs at Rawson. Trying to finesse it. Neal out of the back. And got some spin on it, but no. Neal is there. Now Eckerman. And the 
block. Texas with Bell and Eckerman waiting. That'll tie it at 11. They are all over the middle for Nebraska. Good help from Haley Eckerman as a, as a left side blocker. Out blocking the Huskers 12 to 2 so far in the match. We're even here in the third. The NCAA Women's Volleyball Championship is presented by Northwestern Mutual. Proud to be an official corporate partner of the NCAA and in part by Dr. Pepper. Always one of a kind. Back here in Lincoln, the Longhorns with the 2-0 lead. Even in the third, Nebraska must sweep the next three to win the match, but they're going to have to figure out a way to deal with the block. They sure are. Texas with a 12-2 blocking advantage. That means they're earning, on average, three points extra in these three sets. Of course, the third one isn't even done yet. But if you want to beat a good team like Texas, you cannot hit into the low seam, into the elbows of that Texas block. You've got to hit. And really smart and pick your spots carefully. Big reason why Nebraska has twice as many errors as Texas and right now in the match they are hitting a buck 56. Give them another error there as Texas grabs the lead back. Haley Ackerman 13 kills, Bailey Webster 9, the Haley Bailey show for you tonight for Texas. Robinson with 15 kills, and Katie Rolfson picking up her 13th. And that's spreading the block of Texas out a little bit, running a little away from the setter, what you'd call a shoot set or a three or a gap. And if Nebraska can run that a little more effectively to Hall, they can spread out the defense. So. Ackerman. And the back row for Nebraska says, whew, because they were both looking at each other, expecting the other one to get it. Point Huskers. Back and forth we go, the fourth lead change of this set. Eckerman waits on it. Juan Arante is able to track it down. Allison. Back out to Eckerman, got it. Credit Hannah Allison on that play. First of all, she received a poor pass, but made a good set out of it. So good that Eckerman almost got the kill, but it got the ball back easily, and then they could run their offensive set the second try in that rally. Already more kills and digs for Eckerman than she had in their four set match yesterday. Here she is defensively, calling for it out of the back row. Can't put it away. Robinson will get a swing. Bell bothered it. Cat wants it back. Back out to Robinson. And she drills it. Here's that edge of the block that we were talking about. Texas sets the block up a little inside, leaves some sideline, about three feet to attack at. Robinson sees it, takes advantage. That's where she's had the most success tonight. Bell got the fingertips and the kill. Point for Cat, her six. She'll follow that back to serve, even at 14, our ninth tie now of the set. Robinson gets a good run at that and gets the kill. Lyles to serve. Trying to pick on Cat Brooks a little bit, and they will get the free ball out of it. And the point. And it started with the serve. Robinson, 17 kills, 10 digs. That'll force the Texas timeout. They're down a couple. 
trying to close it out here in the third. Eighth ranked Duke is on ESPNU Monday night as they host Gardner Webb at Cameron Indoor Stadium. Jabari Parker and the Blue Devils. Monday night at 7 Eastern on ESPNU, also available on the Watch ESPN app. We have two spots filled, two remain. Wisconsin and Penn State will be in the national semifinals. The Badgers await the winner of our match here at 7.30 on Thursday night. Penn State will play Thursday night at 9.30 Eastern against either Washington or USC. The Huskies and the women of Troy on deck. They'll be at 11.30 Eastern on ESPNU. And that is the three seed and the six seed. Wisconsin, the 12th seed in the tournament. They will try and become the lowest seed to ever win the title. And of course, for Penn State, huge comeback in the fifth set today to knock off Stanford. And now Penn State will have a chance to match the Cardinal with a sixth NCAA championship. What a war that met. <laughs> that was, that had NCAA semifinal yeah. written all over it, not regional. Final two very strong teams and Penn State turning it around after down 9-6. They go on a 6-0 run led by middle blocker Nia Grant serving and getting them some points. She served big. Katie Slay was terminating in that fifth set after the outsides. Uh, Scott and McClendon each over 20 kills on the night. We're all excited to see that Badger team. What a great story. First year head coach. Kelly Sheffield, uh, Demi Morales had 20 kills today. She's all of 5'7 as an outside hitter. And then, of course, that sensational freshman Warren Carlini setting them to their first trip back to the semis since 2000. Passing problem for the Huskers and the first ace of the night for Texas will tie it back up. Let's see if the Horns can finish it out here in three. The race is on here to 25 and an ace. Two in a row. And if, and if you're Texas, she tries to get out of the way here. This ball is going out of bounds, but watch Rolfson. You don't want to stand behind it. When you're not a passer, get out of the way. It drifted at her, and she just couldn't get out of the way. Comes off the court. Nebraska upgrades, and now they have three strong passes there. But if you're Texas, you've got to look at the body language of Nebraska. They are a yeah. beaten team here. They're not looking each other in the eye. They're not carrying each other with any kind of strength and shoulders up. Robinson got it over. Point Nebraska. And so all Texas has to do is just keep the ball in the air. Their offense probably runs a little better without a perfect pass, but just something their setter, Hannah Allison, can get her hands on. Nebraska, in the meantime, got to believe in the game that served them so well. All at so many times this year, and they can't even get a swing there. A stumble. And the block for Texas. Had some perspiration on the floor. They're calling for a cleanup on aisle six. And right now, Texas up one. Six points from the match. Four zip, the blocking advantage is set for Texas and now the service area. And that's what you don't want to do when you look at this team that can't look each other in the eye, that's turning away from each other, shoulders hunched. You've got to make them play the ball every time. For those of us that were in Omaha for the Penn State Nebraska semifinal several years ago and they fell behind 2 0, you do not want to give this team any hope, especially at home. And an opportunity at a fourth set. They came back to even up that national semifinal, and then Penn State won it in a thriller in five. 
went on to win the title. The only two sets Penn State lost all season long. An utterly dominating performance. Back in 08, a part of their uh, run of four straight national championships. Here's the bump outside to Eckerman. That was tight. Point Nebraska. Huskers have been swept just once all year, and they are fending that off right now. Young, naive, playing innocent, uh, innocent without anything to lose. That's been a plus for Nebraska throughout much of this season. May not be serving them as well here tonight after the service error. Yep, the weight of expectations a little higher now. Robinson trying to prevent this from being the final set of her career. The senior gets the kill to even it back up. 19 kills on the night for Kelsey. Yeah, what a nice adjustment on that set. That was about 11 feet off the net. She used the block perfectly to her advantage. Trying to pick on Brooks again. Allison had to bring it out of the net. And reaching across and making contact was Nebraska Point, Texas. You have to have some part of the ball on your side, and all of the ball was on Texas's side. You can't go attack that until it breaks the plane of the net. Paul Kyle, chance for Texas. Allison, looking to Bailey Webster. Dug up. Paul Miller going to Robinson this time. Cross court, Webster is there. Eckerman wants it out of the back. Diving save by Paul Miller. The stuff for Texas. Robinson gets it. And that's the first time I've seen all the Huskers look each other in the eye this whole set, maybe most of the match. Texas got to be careful here. You don't want to let this team wake up. And as it again, serves it at Brooks. Here comes Webster. Got it. And there's that pass where they really can't get the ball to McCage. It has to go to Webster. Everybody in the gym knows it, and she still puts it away. Two points away from the match for Texas. Trouble out of the back. They did not go to Robinson. And now a chance for Texas. Webster with the kill. They had Kelsey. Nebraska did coming on the left, and they went away from her. And now it is match point Texas. Nebraska. Webster with a 12th kill without an error tonight. What and even Robinson that, was wondering. What happened on that play is Nebraska wanted to have a back row attack, but the back row attacker or the setter didn't let the Libra, Wong Arantes, know to clear the fight flight path. And you've got to make space for that back row attacker to come and take a swing and approach. Couldn't, had no swing or had no, uh, had no approach, and so they gave a complete free ball. And of course, Bailey Webster is going to take care of that yeah. one. Yeah, even with a clear flight path, is Robinson still the better choice considering the situation? Absolutely. I think what Paul Miller was thinking was just they're probably going to send two blockers over on Kelsey Robinson. I want to give one of my other hitters a better look, but that other hitter has not been having a great deal of success. So I agree with you. I wouldn't go with that choice. I'd go with Robinson all the way. So here we go now coming out of the timeout. It will be match point. Actually, a couple of them for the top seed, Texas. Trying to finish this in a sweep of the Huskers and advance to the national semifinals where they will have an opportunity to defend their national championship that they won a year ago in Louisville.
senior Hannah Allison will serve. They get it to Robinson this time. Off the block, sent right back. Kelsey wants it again, and she'll get it. And beats the block. One match point averted, and now another. And if I'm Texas, I see Bailey Webster out there. She has 12 kills and no errors this whole match. Looking for a good pass and a set. to number 23 in white. And the service error ends it. And the Texas Longhorns win on the road in the Elite Eight, and they are headed back to the national semifinals. And a date on 